Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This one is on the fishing beginner guide. Now I have had some people asking me how do they fish and what's all the tips and stuff. So I thought I would do a beginner's guide showing you guys the basics of fishing. So let's get started. The very first thing you want to do is talk to Faith and you're going to have a series of quests here which you can then turn in now on my main account i did complete these so this is me turning in the quests right here and you can see once you get to this quest you're going to be getting yourself another fishing rod now you can't equip it until you're level six and this is how you're going to be progressing through your fishing rods and being able to fish in new locations And when you first start off, you're only going to have access to this one right here. So make sure you grab that and then equip it. And by doing so, you want to make sure that you put it in this, not in here. You want to equip it right there like that. Now, this is a power of 10. And the one that you get at level 6 is a power of 60. Each rod after that gets stronger and stronger in the fishing power. These are used in the different locations. If you're wondering where you go to do fishing in other places i already have a video on that i'll put a link to that in the top right corner you can go and check that one out so when you want to fish you're going to be looking for the nodes and there's several different colors you have white which is the common and then you have green which is also common and then you have the blue which is uncommon purple which is rare and then a yellow one which is legendary you're going to be getting this thing right here now you notice when the fish gets into this little bracket right here that's when you want to tap oh i missed it and if you don't do it that's what happens you end up missing your fish so here it is again this little prompt now you see this little thing this is a bar counting down this is a timer when this timer hits zero this is going to disappear so you're basically going to be missing your opportunity to catch the fish you need to wait for this thing to get down into the bar it's certainly taking its sweet time and do bam there we go there are lots of different types of fish you can get now there are common fish uncommon rare legendary just like it is with the nodes but in the bigger nodes if let's say if you have a purple node you're going to have a better chance of getting more difficult things to get more difficult fish will be more readily available in those nodes this little bar up here is how many fish are in so in this particular node there are 39 fish in total but now there's only seven left now here's a green fish right here this is one of the common fish wait for it to get into this little mark right here and then you hit the button just like that as you can see now there's only five fish left in this area and once this hits zero this node will dry up bam and i just got myself to fry thing title as well as i'm going to show you another title you can get which is just below here i did show you this in a previous video but there is the title right there so you can just run right underneath and bam you've got gone fishing there's only two fish left and then this area is dried up bam there we go that place is now dried up so then you could move over to the next node there's six left in there i'm not exactly sure how long it takes for a node to appear but i think it's somewhere around 30 seconds or so now as you can see here's a new node right here nobody's fished in it and there's 29 out of 29 fish if you're wondering how do you check your fishing level because the more you fish the more xp you're gaining and you'll be able to level up click right down here or tap right down here if you're on your phone and then tap right here this is going to bring up your trade skills and you are going to be seeing your fishing right here as you can see mining is coming soon that's going to be awesome so to get to rank two you are going to be needing 100 xp i'm currently at 68. you will be unlocking some titles along the way and you can also unlock a pet this is the pet look right here and you can get this by completing a quest in the box springs area there we go i leveled up my fishing now, while you're fishing in this area, you can also check out here because you'll be finding other nodes out here. Now, they are the same nodes. 
or same level nodes, but you will have more options out here. So look at that. There's a purple one right there. So it's always worth checking. If, if there's no good ones that are in this area here, then come out here and check out here. You never know. There might be some good ones out here. If not, well, you could farm in the town or you can farm just outside the town. You have that option. Now let's jump over to the social district. And to make this easy, we're going to be going over to the oddity shop, which is the house of oddities right here. Click on that and then just turn around and head out the door right here. This is going to be taking you to the Batalon social district. And this is where you want to be because you're looking for, where is it here? So just up here, just around this corner right here is this guy right here. You're going to want to interact with this guy. He is a fishing NPC and you've got the antique fish research right here. So for those of you who have not done the old fishing um, things, this is right here. You can get a bunch of titles here and it shows you what you need to get. So you're going to be needing yellow guppy and you progress through all of these quests. You can get to rank eight. You'll be getting a title and you will be unlocking these things as well. As you see right here, you're going to be needing rank three to get to this rank six to get this one rank eight and i guess you just need to get the apprentice fisher to get to this one which i guess is the maximum level i'm not sure and then you also need to complete the quest requirements to get this this is a travel form that you can get right there and that's pretty cool travel form now in here you have some other stuff to check out as well if you are a collector you're going to want to be checking these out Here's a list of all the common fish. Now this is a repeatable quest that you can do. You're gonna get a tier one token for common fish collection. You've got the uncommon here. These are all the fish you can get. You've got the rare right here. You have the epic, which is right here. And then you have legendary right here. Now, as you can see, the 24K goldfish, keep an eye on that. You're gonna be remembering that one. In this section, you have fishing rods and gear. Now, in the fishing rods, we only have this one, but the other ones will be available when you unlock them. You also have this right here, and this is some of the stuff you can get. Look at the baseball cap, and there's another baseball cap right here. You need some coin fish to get this one. There's fishing gloves right here you can get as well. Those are just cosmetic stuff. And then the really important stuff, I, f I find these are important, is these are some of the bobbers that you can get. Now, these are only a few of the bobbers. There's going to be a lot more added, but if you had one fruit fish, you could turn it in and get yourself this little orange right here. I can't really zoom in because it's too low down, but it's a little orange. And if you were to get the gauze's lost satchel, then you would get this thing right here, which is a gold money bag thing if you get five of these you're going to be getting the aquatic bush i'll let you guys check out the rest of them you've also got some here for dragon crystals which you could purchase as well so if you wanted to get those right off the bat you could just go ahead and purchase those otherwise you need to find these things here and use them and there are some more right here you've got two more bobbers right here as well and these bobbers are pretty difficult to get this one probably isn't too difficult to get but this one would be first of all you need to have five 24k gold fish these are legendary fish and you need five of them and five million dollars so this is not going to be an easy one to get and this is what it is a golden trophy that is very cool now, throughout your little farming things, you're also going to have some fish snacks. Now, each one of these have different stats with different requirements on what you need. And you can see right here, you get XP, class XP, a max health boost, and they're all different. This gives you some armor boost. This one here, you get 10 of these and they give you 23 armor, health, XP, 31 attack. Whoa, imagine using these in pvp you would dominate now the nice thing about this is these fish all the fish that you are catching are not taking up inventory they appear inside of this resources tab so it's not actually taking up any inventory space and this is a great thing now as you can see right here the common ones like this only sell for one gold but if you have better ones they sell for even more 
So you can see how much they value at. Now this is the same as XP as well. When you catch these ones, for instance, give 16, whereas in the other ones I caught only gave 13 or was it 14? And if you catch an epic one or a legendary, each category of fish gives you a certain amount of XP. Of course, the legendary is giving you the most. Here's a blue one, right? Or purple one. This is, gives you 31 XP right there. So that's what I mean. Each different kind of fish give you a different XP. If you get to a location and you notice that it's red like this, that means you do not have the requirements to fish in that location. This particular area requires 315 for this area. So unfortunately, you won't be able to fish in this node because you don't have a pole that is strong enough. I believe that covers all of the basic information that you will need to start fishing in AQ3D. So I hope you guys enjoy this fishing skill as much as I do. And if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.